What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Shino. We're like, go back here. Like, about what's poppin' though? Today, we're back with a UU battle. And legit, this was a decent UU battle. But if you guys are excited, go ahead and be drill the hell out of that like button. You know, be drill it. Be drilling on it. Just drill on it. Just drill on it. And if you guys are want to be a proud members of the Shino Swarm, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to join the hive. Basically, we're the biggest hive buzzing all over YouTube right now. So, let's get it though. I mean, I don't know if we're like the biggest hive, but I think we're the only hive on YouTube because everybody else don't call themselves hives. I, I think we're the only ones. Anyways, today we had a battle against our friends. Subasa and legit it was a decent battle I hope you guys are excited for today's battle legit is a very good battle you know it's hella intense things go crazy like it just goes absolutely crazy so right off the back I'm gonna leave with my Darmanitan because legit I knew young Zeref was gonna be a problem so I U-turn automatically because I feel like this thing is gonna be explosion um well not even explosion I knew it was gonna be focus sash I didn't know it was gonna be explosion until like after the fact but legit it turned out to be explosion so I'm gonna go into sleepy aka young that's, that's my dude, that's my dude. So he sets up Stell Rocks, which is pretty much a smart plan here to go for here. But now he's gonna go for Explosion, and now I'm thinking to myself, you know, wow, okay, Explosion is seriously powerful for Mazelf. Like, why does people use that? Like, oh my god, like, why do you guys do this? This is just a very, very douchebag moment. So I'm thinking to myself, oh my god, like, what the heck? So I can't even use Body Slam on this thing to finish it off because it's dead already. He killed himself. It's like he was a suicide bomber, and I was just like, damn. So he's gonna go into his Toto Maru. I'm um, thinking to myself, okay, this is a pretty decent Pokemon. To deal with, uh, but he's gonna go for U turn. I think he was gonna go like superpower or something, but I guess he expected me to switch out. I'm not switching out over here because this thing is pretty much gone, it's pretty much dead. I have no recovery on it, I can't get no help back and nothing like that. So now he's gonna go into his Blastoise, which is going to be okay for me. I'm gonna go for Earthquake, it does a little bit of damage, like a little chunk, not too much. It's just like okay, I use Earthquake, you know, I scratch the surface, maybe. So now I'm gonna go for Body Slam. Body Slam is gonna do a decent amount of damage here. Like, it's gonna do a decent amount of damage. Parahex did come through, so I was happy about that. You know, that was something um, that made my day kind of chipper up because of the fact that the explosion as itself, and it was just like screwing me over, and I was like hella scared of it. Plus, you got the Parahex, so now it's like, okay. Okay, I like how this is going. Uh, we got P to the R L Y Z Paralyzed Hex coming in here like a T wave. He's gonna go for Scald. Um, Scald is doing me enough to kill me off. I am an Assault Fested uh, Snorlax, Assault Fested Special Defensive Snorlax. This is like my special wall. You know, comes with that Earthquake, Crunch, Fire Punch, Body Slam set. Um, that's something I do right on my Snorlax because it's, it's really good. I like. I think it's really viable in UU. Uh, but now I'm gonna go into Aerodactyl. This is uh, probably the most questionable play I've ever made in my entire life because it's like, why would you go into Aerodactyl? Like, what can Aerodactyl do to this thing? Like, you know, no, get me wrong. He's low in HP, you know, he's paralyzed, but what if I miss, you know? That was kind of stupid of me because I was thinking to myself, why did I do this? But I go for Stone Edge. Stone Edge will be enough to kill off the Blastoise. Blastoise, you fainted about a week ago. Go, you messing with me? Now I'm tweaking. Yo, ah. Uh, and I'm just thinking to myself, like, yeah, bro, you just got body. So now he's going to go into Lee Darmanitan, aka Totemaru. Uh, I don't know why. For some reason, I thought I'd outspeed, but obviously, this thing is Choice Scarf. He's going to use Rock Slide. He's going to kill off Young Stones. So, Stones, you came in, you know, you bodied the Blastoise. You finished off the job. But I'm going to go into my son Goku because legit, this should be a speed tie. You know, I'm thinking in my head, okay, this is going to be a speed tie. We're going to be really, really close when it comes to tagging each other, you know, trying to kill each other out. He's going to go for Rock Slide. Rock slide is gonna do enough to kill me, so I'm thinking to myself, okay, that's very saddening. Uh, I just got bodied, yo. It's like, what can I do? Like, what can I do? I just got bodied a week ago, and I'm just thinking to myself, okay, okay. So yeah, now I'm gonna go into Needle King. He's uh, like obviously afraid of Needle King because Needle King is legit power. Um, he's gonna go into Young Gudra, which is his special defensive wall. Gudra pretty much eats up hits. Like Gudra eats up hits, and it also can dish them out like really well. So. I saw that the air power didn't do that much, obviously, because it's probably a soul vested. So I'm gonna go into Big Bumba because legit Big Bumba can legit eat up a hit. I feel like he's just gonna go and go for um uh I thought he was gonna go for like Dragon Pulse or something like that. I'm not sure if I if I recall correctly. Um oh yeah, he goes for muddy water. Muddy water. So that's still bad. That's still bad. That's still bad. Look how much muddy water did. It's just like, oh my god, what are you doing? Plus my accuracy fell. It's like I got dirt in my eyes, bro. What you doing? So now it's just like, why did I? I can't even go into. I couldn't even go into my special wall because my special wall was dead. Like if I would have went into Blastoise, not Blastoise, Snorlax. Snorlax would ate that up. Like legit, Snorlax was just gonna like eat it up. But I'm gonna use Earthquake. I will outspeed, which is kind of good for me. But it's also like bad in a sense because he he lived it. He didn't die. You know, it's still me getting bodied by this Gudra. And I'm thinking to myself, Gudra, you need to go. You need to get out of my head. And he's just like muddy water. And I'm just thinking to myself, okay. So pretty much you're just like murdering me off right now. I see you, big dog. 
dog. Like, yeah, sure. Kill my bloodline. Big Bumba, I apologize. You know, I didn't use you to your fullest potential in this battle. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So we're gonna go into Purple Power because Purple Power is our Needle King. Needle King is gonna come back in and guess what? We're going for Earth Power because it's in range enough to kill. So don't get me wrong, you are a soul vested, but I know for a fact that this Earth Power will kill. And now that Earth Power is killed, you know, I could deal with a lot of your other Pokemon, which is gonna be good for me. So he's gonna go into King Bradley, which is a weird name for a Beedrill. If your Beedrill ain't named Ben Trill, I won't talk straight up. Like if it ain't Ben Trill, nah, it ain't been real. So, you know, it's just like a knockoff. So you got that bootleg Beedrill right now. That Bootleg Beedrill, yes, I said it. You got a bootleg Beedrill, correct? So he's gonna go for Protect, which is bad because uh, he's trying to get a speed, but he doesn't realize I'm Choice Scarf. So I'm going to go for Earth Power again. That is going to be a Beedrill getting decimated, like decimated. Plus, it's a crit. Um, legit, you know, Beedrill has decent special defense. I don't know if that crit probably mattered because I know, like, Beedrill lives a few uh, special attacking hits. Um, because, like, legit, uh, it lived the Choice Specs uh, Dragon Pulse from a. Um, from a uh, Noivern, so I was thinking to myself like, "Whoa!" So I'm going out speed, and it's gonna be a Zorok, which is kind of bad, but kind of good in the same token. So it's just like, "Yo, um, is the Zorok just gonna die, right?" Because he's just like, just got mopped, you know. Zorok, don't get me wrong, you look good as hell, shiny. I think this is my first time seeing Zorok in like the 3D animation models, because like I haven't really seen Zorok since like Fifth Gen. Like Zorok was a big thing in Fifth Gen, you know. I don't think people don't even look at it as much as they used to, uh, like back in the day. But uh, like Zorok was like the Fifth Gen. Um, it was like the fifth gen uh, version of Lucario to me. Uh, he's gonna go into his Darmanitan. He's gonna use Flare Blitz. That's gonna be the end of my young homie here. Like, look, I apologize, uh, young Purple Power. But Grass Patch is gonna come out. Um, and legit, I can't do nothing. I absolutely can't do nothing. He's gonna Flare Blitz. He's choice Scarf into Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz is gonna decimate me. I guess you remember my last Pokemon on my team, but this is gonna result in a 1 0. You know, it was a decent battle from Tobasa and myself. I hope you guys enjoyed today's battle. Be sure to smash that like button if you guys are repping the Shino Swarm. Um, if you guys wanna join the hype, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, check out my Twitter for like updates, details on the channel, you know, when videos are coming out, when stream times are happening, etc. And with that being said, I'm gonna go get up out of here. Have a nice day. Later, guys.